The Time Machine by H.G. Wells is a story that I read recently and it is the first H.G. Wells book I've ever read and <laughs> I was about to say and the last but that's not true because I have The Invisible Man just there and I should read that. Um, I think my state of mind in the beginning of this book influenced uh, how I was and how I felt about the rest of it because I wasn't being very positive initially I don't know did I expect a lot I just I didn't really know what I was looking for um this is our region blurb a chilling prophetic tale on mankind's possible future the time machine sees a Victorian scientist propelled into year AD 802,701 we decided to find that suffering has been replaced by beautiful and contentment in the form of the alloy and nothing blah 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 he soon realises that they're just rem remnants of once great culture and now weak and living in terror of the sin sinister Morlocks lurking in the blah 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 blah. Um, man is at a dinner party and is telling the tale of the fact that he will travel through time to an extremely distant future. Um, and the, the actual narrative of what he gets up to when he's there is quite boring. And that's that's why I, I'm not overly fanatic about this book. Is that it's kind of like he gets there, someone nicks his time machine, he wanders around for a while and tries to figure out these creatures that he, he's living with that are scared of the dark, and it's all a bit kind of childish. Um, I feel like it could have jumped to the point more easily. Um, but essentially there are two races of creatures. One are the cute cuddly people that live above ground and seem to be in this utopia. Um, and then there are these kind of monsters that live underground and steal stuff and kill the above ground pretty people. Um, and it kind of comes to the conclusion at the end of the book that this is, that it's, it's like a classist thing because it's saying that the people... Uh, I saw a great graphic that would really help this out. Um, that kind of, this was written, you know, over a hundred years ago. This was written in 1895. And it was based on the premise that more, more lower class work, like fat working class, are working more underground. They're getting <laughs> kind of, well not based on the premise, but, but basically they're, it's darker and it's oppressive and they're retreating from the upper world and he's saying that eventually this will lead to a division of species essentially between the, uh, the above ground and the below ground um, and that they will never work in harmony because they're so, they're well, the 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 Morlocks um, will never be. They're just never going to be harmonious with with the Eloi, because um, they're, they're just they're, that's just how they've been forced to live underground and in this oppressive environment. Um, so, I like the idea. I like the kind of very science fictiony nature. I built a time machine. My friends don't believe that it works. Um, but I travelled far into the future and somehow I might get back. Um, brave character. But I didn't, re I didn't really find much em like emotional connection in it. It was very fact-fact. This is what is happening and then this is what you should think about it. Um, interesting as a, as a story. I think I shall have to read more Wells. My book cases over there if you think I keep looking in that direction that is why and then the books I'm talking about are over here anyway um I need to read more more H.G. Wells to get a better grasp of his writing style and why he writes certain ways um but this was an interesting start a little bit hesitant about it um but I feel like it's something that I might reread in 20 years and be like this is fantastic uh so we'll just set that one aside for now I tried to press the pause and I just opened up my spreadsheet. Fail. 